Hello YouTube, this is my uh, top 10 scariest moments from my childhood. I just seen a video of some guy doing, expressing his, well, telling his top 10 scariest moments as a child from television and movies. I thought I'd do the same thing because there's moments, there's things that I've seen in my childhood that I'd wish I knew what was coming up before uh, certain scenes in TV and movies. Um, so I'll cut to the chase. My number 10 scariest moment, uh, the movie Hocus Pocus. I was four years old when I first seen this movie, and it scared the shit out of me. I know it's a Disney movie. It doesn't scare me now, but when I was younger, it, ter it terrified me. I don't know why, but it did. I think it was the whole fact that there were was witches. Oh no, there was a certain scene that did terrify me. Oh yeah, the scene where the witches are completely... Complete... Where the witches are like... Physically melting in front of the people. That scene freaked me out. That that really made me scared of the movie. Was that specific scene? You know, if you've seen that movie, you know what scene I'm talking about. You didn't expect it in a Disney movie. Um, n my number nine moment has to be a, a movie that I seen on AMC when I was seven years old. It was 11 o'clock at night, and the TV was still on, and, well, it was 11 o'clock at night. It was a school night, I remember exactly. And, um, I couldn't sleep. And usually when I went to element, like high, like middle school, element, I was in elementary school at the time, I believe, where I could, I, I remember what school I was in. But anyway, I was still going to school, and it was a school night, so I decided, oh, what the hell, Stephen King's It is on, and I seen Stephen King movies with my mom in the past, when I was younger, and she would cover my eyes when it came to the scary parts, well, I watched Stephen King's It when I was, like, maybe seven, and <clears throat> this was at 11 o'clock at night, so, like, around 3 a.m. in the morning, I get up from a nightmare, and I swear to God, I see, I see the clown in my closet, and I'm screaming bloody murder for my mom to come in my room to make sure that there's nothing in my closet. That movie terrified me when I was seven, but now I watch it, and it doesn't scare me anymore, except clowns in a circus, or the clowns that are made up for, like, like, those Halloween decorations, they still freak me out, but Stephen King said doesn't anymore. Number eight, scariest moment of my life, um, of my childhood, I should say. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk, of, tell you this delicately without me scaring myself. Um, I remember when I was 13, and I was watching, uh, the Travel Channel when they were showing, like, the scariest destination shows, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, they're on Destination America now, but one of this episode was talking about Haunted museums. I'm like, okay, I'm into ghosts. I watch ghost hunters. They talked about Robert the Doll. Boy, Gavolt. Boy, did that story scare me to the point where I hid under the blanket. I hid under my blanket after hearing it. And I begged my mom to change the station. Because I couldn't watch it anymore. That, that story just scared the shit out of me. I'm not even going to repeat it. Just look it up. Robert the Doll. Look it up here on YouTube. 
the story will scare the shit out of you. Trust me, you probably don't want to be in your room by yourself for a couple of days or so. Uh, number seven, scariest moment of my childhood. Uh, this doesn't retain to TV or to movies as much as it did, as it does with a movie store that used to be here in East Stroudsburg. Um, years ago, there used to be a movie store here called Vio USA. And I, there's a dollar store there now, but I could remember everything the way it was just by standing by the at the entrance of the dollar store. So anyway, all the way in the back, they used to have these posters, these, like, advertising for, like, Halloween movies. But these posters weren't just posters. These posters changed, like, um, like those, uh, like, uh, cards. Remember Pokemon cards used to have, like, one of these, like, plastic changing pictures where you see one picture, then you change it? And you would see, like, a scene going back and forth. Well, these posters were exactly like that, except this poster really scared me. Um, I had to close my eyes every time I went in and passed it. Because at first I thought it was just a poster, but it was like a kid's face like mine. That suddenly it was a complete skeleton with no eyeballs. That scared the hell out of me. I couldn't even walk by that poster without covering my eyes or like or like pushing my hand against the wall like I was like I couldn't see whatsoever because I couldn't look at that poster. It scared the hell out of me. What did you do with the potato chips? And they're in the closet. Okay. Boy. But that poster scared the hell out of me when I was younger. You want to veil USA where it was the kid and it came to the skeleton? Yeah. But uh, thank God they... And after... And my my mom complained about the pic poster being up. I remember this exactly. Uh, I was looking for a PG-13 movie because when I was younger, I watched... PG-13 movies, because there was PG-13 movies of the 90s, there was nothing wrong with them. But now there is so much violence in a PG-13 movie that even kids can't see them anymore. Like, I mean, I was young. I, I was like eight, seven, like six years old around that time, and I was seeing maybe, I seen maybe like 10 PG-13 movies by that time. And, but I remember this time, when I seen that poster, my mom complained to, um, the employee, she's like, that poster back there just scared my son. That po that poster's terrifying to children, why do you have it up? And she's like, well... I'm, I'm not the person to complain to. You have to complain to the manager. So she did complain to the manager. And maybe five days later, looking for a new movie, it was down. Because the manager took into consideration that that poster was giving children nightmares. Especially, it gave me nightmares. It gave me nightmares for three straight nights. My number six scary moment. Now... Um, this was another late night for me. Uh, when I was younger, sometimes I would turn on CNN because I just wanted to know what was going on in the world. Uh, so the CNN particularly when I was having a special on Jack the Ripper. And this was when I was nine years old. And I'm like, who the hell's Jack the Ripper? I don't know. I was intrigued to watch it. So, CNN is good with pictures. Like, they know when to sh not show a picture 
But they showed the pictures of the women that Jack the Ripper cut up, and that terrified me. It, it the, just how gruesome the pictures were. And I was paralyzed in fear. And, like, it wasn't, like, quick pictures. They, like, showed it for two minutes each and explained who the person was and why he killed them. And I was terrified. Jack Ripper killed five women. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. So for 20 minutes, they showed these five pictures... And they were so gruesome. Like, I had to, like, put a pillow over my face so I didn't see the picture, but I could hear what they were saying. I did just didn't want to see the pictures. <clears throat> number, number five scariest moment of my childhood. Now, this has to do with a television show that I used to watch growing up. Um, I used to watch a show called Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now, if you ever watch that show, it was one of the two shows that Cartoon Network created, but mine is the one that Seth MacFarlane made. Yeah, about the man and his dog that... Well, Seth MacFarlane, that was his first show that he did on Cartoon Network, and he thought, huh, maybe I got a hit show here. That's the inspiration for Family Guy. That was just a random fact. But uh, one of the two shows that <clears throat> Cartoon Network showed was Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now, I love this show. It was unique. It was dark. And I love this show. I used to watch it. I mean, I watched every episode of it, except this one episode that scared the shit out of me. And, and it just didn't scare me. It scared a lot of kids. I mean, not just here in America, but in England, in Australia, in China, in Tokyo, in Alaska, all around the world to scare kids. Uh, there's this one particular episode that really terrified me. Uh, the episode was titled King Ramsey's Curse. And I, just by the title of it, I thought I'd be okay with it because I'd seen The Mummy five times before that. And I, pro and I thought I knew what to expect in this episode. No, I was wrong. Uh, when you've... When I seen King Ramsey, it was very bad CGI, but it looked terrifying. Like, literally, like, have you ever seen Scooby and Shaggy run in a scene of Scooby-Doo? Well, that's how I ran out of my bedroom. Like, down the stairs, I'm afraid I... I'm surprised I didn't fall down and break my neck. Like, I ran out of my room, like Scooby and Shaggy, like... My mom was impressed that I, for some reason, did that, but I didn't run out of the room because I just felt like I wanted to. I did some things like that when I was younger, but this episode was terrifying for me and for all kids who watched it because, <clears throat> I'm sorry if I uh, scare some kids that are watching this, but you heard... Uh, Return the slab. Return the slab or suffer my curse. Sorry if I scared kids. But, uh, if I, if I scared some of my own age group, I apologize as well. Uh, yeah, but when we seen King Ramsey exactly like that, like, we were terrified. Like I said, I ran out of my room like, my, my mom's room, like, Sco Scooby and Shaggy, like, I'm surprised there wasn't smoke coming from where I was, like, 
gearing up to run, but, like, that show, that episode terrified me. Like, to the point where I watched it, and some scenes made me jump, but I was okay with the show. Except for another episode, um, that freaked me out as well. Um, there was an episode of Courage where, uh, Where, um, you see this creepy old, no, no, better yet, better yet, uh, um, Mario's nephew, yes, that episode, that episode was very freaky, and, and what was worse is that it was attached with King Ramsey's curse, that was the worst part. Because I watched a terrifying episode of Courage. Well, Courage was half hour, so I watched a terrifying 15 minutes of King Ramsey's Curse. And then I watched another, ter like, 15 terrifying minutes of some psychotic barber. And you're hearing his own thoughts. He's narrating the show. But what was freaky about the episode was that every time <clears throat> he got to a certain point where he, like was talking about cutting someone's hair, he's like, he's like, and I got naughty. But what was even worse is when he was shaving Courage, you heard, like, Danny Elfman, Ullman music, Damien, like, you're hearing that in the background, and it's very freaky. And that episode gave me nightmares that night. I mean, literally, like, I needed, like, a flashlight to, like, to make sure that I wasn't seeing King Ramsey or this, like, freakish barber go into the bathroom. Like, and, oh yeah, with a flashlight, we had a power outage that night. So it made it even worse. Uh, my top four scary moments... Um, this really, uh, falls to YouTube. Um, one of my friends that I had in elementary school, Rob, uh, this one time we decided to hang out. So, <clears throat> I hang, I hung out at his house. I will never forget this. We decided to go to YouTube and do this, uh, Scary Maze, and we were like, why the hell is it called Scary Maze? We found out. Linda Blair's face from The Exorcist was like, ah! Like, at the end, like, my heart dropped, and he, I'm pretty sure he shit his pants. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I still remember this. This is how exactly it happened. I'm right here. I'm on the floor covering my heart, like making sure I don't have a heart attack. He's sitting in the he's sitting in his mom's desk desk chair. He runs out. <laughs> this part made me laugh. <laughs> it should sure enough, but it made me laugh. He runs out and bangs into the closet door. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off, but I helped him. But that video scared the shit out of me. That's when YouTube was new. That's when YouTube was new. <laughs> um, top three scary moment of my childhood. Um, goosebumps. Um, that, that was another show I liked because it was unique. And plus, like I said, when I seen Stephen King's that I liked that since it, well, I didn't, well, I had the nightmare, but I liked the fact that it gave me a nightmare. And strangely. So I like to watch Goosebumps, and there's this particular episode of Goosebumps, which terrified me, uh, called Night of the Living Dummy. Now, this isn't the first dummy show that, or first show that has a talking doll that scared the shit out of me growing up. But this 
episode was very freaky. That it was based on R.L. Stein's Goosebumps novel called "I Want My Bride" or "Night of the Living Dummy 2. And and what was freaky about this episode is not that the d fact that the dummy comes to life. No, I just laugh at that. But what's freaky about this episode is that she goes like runs into the bathroom for like a uh, refuge like for a safe haven and you see on the mirrors bathroom mirrors and this house was huge by the way and in the bathroom mirrors big windows you see i want my bride like written as if slappy the dummy like used his finger to use it and the showers were on too that made it scarier and I had changed the channel right away because that freaked me out. I still watch Goosebumps, though. That was one of my favorite unique shows. Uh, number three, scary moment. The first time I seen Psycho, uh, when, let me, well, actually a couple of old horror movies to be exact is number three on my list. Uh... Number one would have to be Psycho, though. Uh, when I... This was around Halloween. And I got a... And I got, like, a cheapy... Two... DVDs of, like, cheapy... Movies. Like, old horror movies. And one of them had Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho on it. And this was from BJ's, when they sold movies for, like, five dollars. So, I'm watching this movie, and I'm like, what's so scary about it? I'm like, here's the scary part. Norman Bates is a psycho. Period. And what makes it scary is that psycho is based on an actual person. Yeah, have you ever seen them? Have you ever heard of the movie Deranged? Watch that. That's what it's based on. Yes, yeah, so Norman Bates... His mother's been dead for years, for 20 years, and he still has her skeleton. But what's worse is that he dresses up as his mother and kills and, and kills women while they're taking a shower. That part didn't scare me. I, li I like that part, actually, because the knife wasn't piercing through the skin, and I knew that was chocolate that was in the water. And that, and for, ironically, that made me hungry for chocolate while I was watching it. I don't know why, but, uh, but what freaked me out the most about that movie is that when Marion's sister goes and finds Norman's mother's body in the basement, that scared me. Like, okay, I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna just show you exactly how this happened okay now pay attention to that chair it's backwards okay she runs in and slowly you you see like the shadow of norman bates's mother okay So this is what happened. This is what happens in the scene psycho that scared me. You see the silhouette, or you see the back side of Norman's mother. You're like, okay, maybe he isn't so crazy. I know. I hate being interrupted. I know you are. Anyway, you see the back side of Norman's mother, and you don't think that she's dead. And you're maybe like, oh, maybe he's not so crazy. Maybe his mother has been killing. These women, but then you see it slowly turn, slowly turn, slowly turn, slowly turn, and oh, there you see the skeleton. She's dead. But what even makes it worse is that she goes running towards the other side of the basement, and she sees Norman in a wig and in his mother's clothes. That freaked me, that scared me, and what, and, and what even freaked me out more about Psycho with this, when it came with the DVD pack, is that at the end, 
you hear Norman's mother talking, and he's not talking. He's not talking whatsoever, but mentally, his mother's talking, and you hear that. But Psycho was one of the movies that scared me. The second movie would have have to been The Screaming Skull. And this was a cheaply made, under-budget 1950s horror movie. But when I... I was 10 when I seen this movie, so... But I was 10 when I seen this movie, and it scared the shit out of me. Here's what happens in The Screaming Skull. You see that it's this couple, like a newlywed couple, and this guy just married this woman because he's a... He was a widower. His wife apparently died of natural causes. Natural causes. And the movie goes on, but you find out that he killed his wife. And that her, that the screaming skull is his wife's skull, and it's coming everywhere at him. Lower it. Lower and it, it. And it kills him. And it kills her especially because she breaks her neck going down the stairs. And that was one of the movies that terrified me. And the third one would have to be Night of the Living Dead. Now keep in mind, this movie is in black and white. And this was the movie that made Hollywood put ratings on their movies. Because this was the first... Give me the pound cake, yeah. This was the first horror movie to not only be gory, but to be very, to use a lot of image to terrify people. It starts off with the brother and sister going to the cemetery, putting the flowers on the father's grave, but then you see all these, you see the zombie kill the brother, and then you see her running towards the house for her shelter, and she finds... Everyone's dead in there. And then more people are coming in this house. And then these zombies are trying to break in the house to eat them. And that was, and that terrified me. It didn't get me nervous. It just terrified me. Okay, come down to the last two moments. Number one, number two, actually, are (laughs) together, really. Uh, There were two Halloween specials that came on AMC. One of them was Hellraiser, which was the movie. Then another one, and I truly regret watching this. Don't be afraid of the dark. The original version. These two movies together terrified me. Because Hellraiser, this guy's coming for your soul. But yet, he doesn't exactly want to kill you right away. He's like the good cop and bad cop at the same time. Trying to make you change your life decision before he kills you. Or takes your soul. Then, in Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, the remake is about killer fairies, but the original is more screwed up than you think. The first one is <clears throat> is more gruesome, for one. It's like watching the story of Lizzie Borden meets Alfred Hitchcock. It was intense. That's all I will say. And that movie terrified and made me scare the dark for maybe about five years of my life. I couldn't bear to watch the movie again, and I tried watching the remake, but they ruined the original with it. So those are my top ten scary moments of my childhood. And just one thing to add, 
If you haven't seen Paranormal Activity, don't. It's going to scare the hell out of you. You won't be able to sleep pleasantly during the night. Happy dreams.